Hey, let's do a quick you update on the uh, Coleman pop-up top. If you saw my first video, I hadn't had it covered yet. What I did, I was originally going to go over it with the poly wall and then stuck the two sides on and found out you can't use poly wall outdoors because the movement, the expansion and contraction during the weather, you'd have uh, leaking problems. So what I did is I found a white car canopy thick tarp and put that down over the wood. Before I put that down, I sealed the wood. So then I came back, I glued on that tarp, and then I covered that in 100% silicone, which is a product that Home Depot sells. Henry is the manufacturer of it. That's, they've been around for a long time. 100% silicone is what they use or what guys should be using on top of their RVs. Um, and I haven't had any problems with it leaking. I'll go inside and you kind of have to bear with me. It's kind of still a mess in here. So what I did, I went in and skinned everything in that thin plywood and 4x8 sheets and then we washed it with a a gray stain to kind of make it look like it was old. Um, I got the AC back in. I've got a little bit of trim that I put up, decorative trim, to cover everything. Then on the sides, I went back and uh, covered the sides of the tarp. So actually, man, it looks really, really cool in here. I know, I don't think this video is gonna do it justice. I still have some tree, uh, trim I need to do <clears throat> up on the corner. I'll go back with some quarter round and cover those up. Kind of like the quarter round up in here, what I did. That's the hole for the support. So I need to bring that quarter around, finish it still. But it's doing a really, really good job. We uh, redid the counter or the uh, floors with the. Uh, vinyl wood flooring we repainted the cabinets i replaced that wood piece uh, right there we're going to come back on these countertops and do the same thing i think to match this one right here so we still have this counter right here and up here with the sink but that's a little update on how it looks i will say this doing all the arches and the supports like i did in that previous video really added to the strength of the top so my of course my ac unit isn't sagging and of course it's probably gonna take a couple years to uh see any sagging if it does but what i did whoever had the camper before me when they put the ac unit cover on outside they went and sealed around that unit and you can't do that. You have to leave drain holes for all the condensation to roll off your roof. Well, my problem was, is it was coming right down the AC unit and of course, just ruining everything. We had to replace the front of the floor up front. I put a new uh, C-channel support beam going across the front of it. And what I did on my top, instead of using that plastic cover, which was all beat up and broke, I made a new top out of plywood and then I came back with a a sealer that has a vapor barrier tar and then aluminum so it's waterproof whenever I put that AC unit on I made sure to seal around that inside gasket so water couldn't get in but what happened is that gasket's so thick Whenever I put the AC unit on and tightened it, you can't see it in this video, but it created a bow in front of the AC unit, which I couldn't tell I was doing it from the inside because I had, of course, had the top open and you're tightening everything from the inside. So I couldn't see that bow, but when I came back and sealed around the inside of that ga uh, gasket with caulk, so water absolutely can't get in it. And we haven't had any problems with it. It looks really good. I'll show you this material I used to seal the top of that AC unit. Give me a second. We'll go through my garage here. Kind of a mess. <clears throat> I 
here's the material 